Starbucks is actually planning on doing something really interesting for the environment. They usually toss out a lot of the baked goods and the coffee grinds at the end of the day. And, you know, there was recently a study that indicated that Americans waste 40% of our food which is absolutely disastrous, especially when you consider how expensive food is, the number of people that are living in poverty and do not, do not have any access to food. Uh, but Starbucks is trying to find a way to turn their waste into useful products such as laundry detergent and bioplastics. Mm -hmm. So it's really incredible that they're doing this. They're actually even planning on opening up um, some sort of bio refinery in order to do this. And they uh, recently announced this uh, you know, new plan in late August. So it sounds like something that they're really excited about and I'm excited about it too because they do want to lessen their carbon footprint and if this is their way to do it, Go get them. The article talks about how they're trying to branch out in different ways. They're opening tea-only shops or doing wine and beer. And so this is another way that they're sort of trying to differentiate themselves from the impression that we have of Starbucks historically. And I think that any effort that they make to be more green is great. Um, now, there's some criticism of the plan saying that it's likely to increase the cost of the food and drinks at their restaurant, which anytime you do something like this, that's going to be a natural consequence. To me, it seems it has to be incredibly inefficient to do this, to take mm -hmm. the coffee grounds and the, u like the used bagels and to transport them somewhere else to be processed by themselves. It, if that's what we need to do to help the environment, then I'm all for it. But it seems like that should be a national thing, that, that instead of just dumps where we just dump everything, in the same way that we recycle plastic and glass and things like that, we should be recycling raw materials from food and drink and things like that as Abs well. Absolutely, we should be doing that. But at the same time, I feel like Starbucks is kind of taking the first step. Yeah. And I, as inefficient as it might sound right now, I think it's a better idea than them just dumping out the baked goods. Because there's a bit of a conundrum with these coffee shops, right? Because at the end of the day, they have all these baked goods that didn't sell. And they can't keep it for the next day because it's a freshness issue. They want to mm -hmm. make sure that they sell the best possible product. Some Starbucks will hand over the baked goods at the end of the day to maybe a homeless shelter, maybe some of the customers and stragglers that stay there until closing time, they'll mm -hmm. offer the free pastries to them. But a lot of them don't want to do that because they don't want others to find out about it and think that they can come during closing time and get a get bunch free of food. free food. Yeah, so they just end up throwing it out. Um, and that that's not a good idea. That's a horrible idea, especially when you have perfectly good food. So if they can find a way to help the environment and open up this, you know, this bio uh, refinery, I think that it's a great idea. And you know, maybe it'll motivate other companies to do the same thing because the food industry is the main reason why we waste so much food. I mean, Americans, individual Americans, waste a lot of food as well, but the majority of it comes from restaurants that toss out perfectly good food.